I wasn't planning on doing any rallies this year. But when Rob Ferretti last minute reached out to me and invited me on his Adventure Drives Rockies event, where we were going to see some of the most beautiful parts of the country, I couldn't say no. And the only other person I could think of that would have time to go on a rally like this last minute was my buddy Ransom, someone who did a few of our Savage rallies over the years. He had this BMW E30 with a V8 swap, and it always kept up with everything. But for this rally, this is what we're driving. 2015 Porsche Panamera GTS. We got this boat off of Turo for like 80 bucks a day. It makes over 400 horsepower, fits everything and anything you need for a rally. It's comfy, and most importantly, we found out it could do this. Oh my god! That was violent. And in this next series of videos, folks, I'm gonna take you along for what was one of the best rallies I have ever been on. Welcome to Adventure Drives Rockies. The trip started with Ransom and I flying in a day early to Phoenix to grab our car. Ransom, so you're telling me you rolled up to this dude's house and you said, we're gonna do basically 2,400 miles in your car and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna give this guy the keys. I didn't use the word rally. Despite the rally starting in Denver, it ended in Scottsdale. And since we were renting off a of Turo, this couldn't be a one-way rental. So we drove our Panamera for 12 hours from Phoenix Airport to Denver. So yeah, we basically did a rally before the rally. Talk. you want to go to the Express Casino? It's an express Casino, what does that mean? You can lose your money twice as fast. And in 24-7 too. In 20, right, 24-7. It was awesome though, because we got to feel out the car, and we also stopped in Albuquerque, New Mexico to see Walter White's house from Breaking Bad. 308 Negra Arroyo Lane. Then we stayed at Ransom's friend's house that was way too nice for us. And the next morning, we headed over to the Four Seasons Hotel, where the rally was beginning. The first day was just a travel day, so we had a very nice dinner, met all the other participants, and then we got some rest. And now, folks, day one of driving. Listen. The key Listen. has ED. <laughs> yeah. Viagra, please sponsor us when you yeah. do. There you go. Now, folks, I could give you an intro. I could. But there's someone that will give a much better one. So, Rob, hit me with an intro. Give it to me. That's this guy. What's going on, everybody? Rob, we're ready here. We're at the Four Seasons Hotel in Denver, Colorado. I love starting in Denver because right here is where the mountains start, and it gets lovely from here all the way to California. Right next to me, we have a 296 Ferrari, which is a replacement car for somebody who showed up because their car broke and SF90 it was in service, and she's like, I'm not missing that trip. So she went out, bought herself a 296. That's not the only problem we're dealing with right now. We have a transport truck that was supposed to be here a day and a half ago. Now he sent me his update. He's probably going to be here an hour after we leave. So this guy being so awesome is going to volunteer his own Ferrari to the customer. Rob, you're just laying in, it out for in everybody. In lieu <laughs> of making him wait for his own car, I'll have one of my staff wait for the car. I will grab the BMW M4 and let him drive the Ferrari. We'll see what's gonna happen. We're gonna drive Pike's Peak today, which is an awesome mountain, 14,000 feet up in the sky. Take a deep breath, because the air's a lot thinner up there, but we're gonna leave Denver. We had a great dinner last night over on Larimer Street. It was a great time. Everybody had a couple of drinks, and we're really excited to get this week started. So you make me look like a joke. <laughs> like, Folks, like that's how you do a proper intro, you know, I so. Know. I, I stumbled but, somewhere. No, no, we'll, we'll cut it, you know, or I'll leave it all in this <laughs> After a quick driver's meeting, it was time to drive. Rally time, Ransom, you ready? Go, ready, ready? Pike's Peak now, and the last time I was here, 
I overheated my Aventador. Roll the clip. I was gonna say, like, you know how we were talking about how we're the only Aventador on here? Yeah, oh. We just figured out one of the reasons. Oh. Cooling. <laughs> so not the best way to go up Pikes Peak, but it was fun until then. So I'm hoping that since we're in a Porsche now, we shouldn't have that problem. But we're about to enter now. We're gonna go up, get some food. It'll be a good time. Thanks. Pikes Peak was off to a great start. The Porsche was driving amazing. And then 20 minutes up the road, this happened. Yeah, Brandon, it's it's hailing. It's yeah. Yeah. It's hailing. It was 80 degrees like 45 minutes ago. <laughs> and that's, no. it's hailing. In the meantime though, we did begin discussing something. There aren't many bolts that hold the mufflers on. No, and I get sad when we have to roll the windows up because I can't hear the exhaust anymore. And it would just be a real shame if tonight we, we got some tools and we, we bolted the muffler and just put it in the trunk. We should definitely not go buy tools at AutoZone and remove the mufflers. It's got, it can't be more than four bolts. Oh, we could have it off in 30 minutes. <laughs> Portia made it. It's a little dirty now, but she made it. It's smoky up here. Does this typically clear out at any times of the day, or is uh, it yeah, just like, oh when shit? When we were here last time, it was gorgeously blue in every direction. Yeah. And, uh, today it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this was what Rob was talking about, by the way. This was back in 2016. Just absolutely beautiful. If you've never been to Pikes Peak, it's a must go for any car person. But from here, we went to have some of their supposedly world famous donuts, and then we began our descent. Not before stopping here, though, for photos. Yeah, you're good, thanks. Look how big our car looks now. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big bitch. It's the shuttle vehicle. It's the shuttle vehicle, yeah. It's the high-end shuttle. It's so big. <laughs> STO, STO, 458, C8, another C8, limo. <laughs> wow. And other than me, we did a great job spacing the cars. <laughs> I f***ed that one up. <laughs> So big. You get a brochure. You get a gold star. Wow, so a gold star. I Dude, what? Are, yeah, I wonder. Are we gonna get one? Get two. Look at it's a gold star. Bye. Yes. 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 If you beat her. Oh, okay. One hundred and five. Let's see what you're at. One thirty. That's still perfect. Uh, oh, what's, Mega what's, great. what's the threshold, by the way? So one twenty-five is perfect. Give me a gold star because high. I beat Got it. So one thirty. Yeah, you're you're perfect. Is what you are. Cool. Okay. Thank Have you. A good day. Thanks. After our drive, it was finally time to get something to eat. So about 30 minutes down the road, we ended up at one of the best burger places I have ever been to. You ready for a nap? We gotta go work out after this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to work out. Oh my god, these burgers. Oh my goodness. And then we got some grilled chicken sandwiches and bacon and cheddar. Over there, well played. I might have to mooch. That looks oh, good. Oh, thanks. So. <laughs> oh man. Do you want some potato fries? Oh, I have fries. I didn't. Here's our regular. Think about that nice sweet potato. Absolutely. Anybody else? Oh man. All right. Where are we going now? Hotel and Vail. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a nice hotel Probably because it's Vail. And hopefully not a gym. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're going to the gym, boy. All right, we'll go to the gym. <laughs> you want to go to the gym? Now, we'll go to the gym. now you're going to the gym? No, not right now. No. When we get to the hotel. Oh, yeah. Then after, we'll do some liver exercises. 
<laughs> oh yeah, dude, you gotta get your liver cardio in. Yeah, I'll get a pack it's... of cigarettes, do my long exercises. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> can't skip long day. Yeah. I don't know where my sunglasses are, so I'm like... You can't see? Yeah. The car's almost beating it. Almost. Okay. If you cross your eyes, it looks you... better. Yeah, if, if you, you look like me... If you squint your left eye, and yeah. then you squint your right eye, yeah. like and then that? you put your hand over your eyes, it's actually very clean. Ah. Uh. It's incredibly clean. Look at it. Beautiful. Right. Damn, that thing's pretty. You gotta pee? I think we all gotta pee a little bit. I have to pee. When we started going like 120 and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So day one, dude. Day, day one, one went well. It went well. Yeah. Uh, so, semi well. A little bit of rain. Yeah. Which isn't the end of the world. Pike's Peak was awesome. Yeah. A little bit of rain at the top, a little bit of clouds at the top, but to be expected. Lunch was good and my transport mess got sorted out. Oh, good. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> the transport issue Rob was dealing with was a customer car arriving late to the start of the rally. But one of his staff members waited for it, got it, and now it's here. This beautiful, brand new Spider RS. We then walked around Vale for a little bit, had dinner, Rob got tired, and tomorrow we begin day two of driving. 